Cody, well, Alexi, an incredible game from you, assisting on both goals, including that game winner to Brett Connolly. Just to get back in the lineup and make that kind of an impact, what was your goal heading into this game, and how pleased are you with your effort tonight? Uh, obviously, uh, just wanted to do my best uh, start from a get-go, and uh, we had a couple good chances before that, but just couldn't score on those, and uh, we start just, just stayed positive, you know, like it's a 0-0 zero -zero hockey game at that point, so we... We just kept going positive, and uh, obviously it's uh, a lot of fun out there. So it's uh, yeah, it's fun. On that goal to uh, the pass to Brett Connell, you made a great power move around the net. Did you even see him there? Or did you just know he was going to be there? That was some nice chemistry. Yeah, I mean that was kind of a set play. So uh, yeah, it's I knew he was there, and uh, Walmart was going through the net too. So it's like either way, even Wally or Cons, and now it was Cons. So. That was a huge call. What really stood out is the end of this game, that penalty kill and then that six on five, all the block shots, all the urgency. Just what can you say about this team's effort, you know, down the final stretch? <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, guys, uh, at, guys are blocking shots, and uh, it's like you got to respect that. I, I mean, I'm not a huge guy to block shots, and but I love that when guys are, guys are doing that, and it's like, it's like the biggest thing. Thing to do if you want to win hockey games. Thanks, Alexi. Great job. Enjoy this win. Thank you. Well, Chris, this is just the seventh regulation loss that St. Louis has had here. They were a good team at home. What did you see from this group that was just so strong tonight? Honestly, it was just in front of, the, of our net. I uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a shot blocking ever by this team that was that good as it was tonight. Um, you know, like we have the same guys every night just laying their bodies down on the line. Weeks, uh, Strawley. Eki, Atch, I mean, the list goes on and on. It was it was a pretty incredible effort by those guys tonight and, and everyone. Killers, uh, the guys on for the for the six on five. It was uh, it was fun to watch. It's Arla getting back in the lineup and having that performance. Just you know, as a guy that has been in those call up situations, have to be happy to see that from him. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been it's been great. Um, Sorry, from who? Sarla. Oh, Sorella. Yeah, yeah. No, he had a cr on a, an incredible night. Um, yeah, you know, two apples from him. I always joke, tell him uh, that he's a goal scorer, but he tells me he's a playmaker. So tonight he was a playmaker. Uh, just so happens he also probably has the hardest wrist shot I've ever seen. So he's uh, he's a talent, talented kid, and he uh, showed that tonight. It seems like urgency and that desperation is something maybe this team had gotten away from a bit after the All-Star break. Do you feel like that's really back in full force and at the right time? Well, I mean, uh, our last three games have been, uh, have been a lot of fun to be a part of. Um, the guys just seem like they have that spark back. And, uh, you know, before the break, you know, we were on a bit of a roll there, and we had a lot of confidence and a lot of fun in the room, and, and it feels like we're getting that back. Going up against a guy like Bennington, who was in a situation similar to you to, to be able to come out on top, that was a goaltending battle. That had to be fun for you. Yeah, that was a fun one. Um, yeah, it's funny. We, we played against each other a fair bit in the minors uh, over our our long minor league careers. So, uh, yeah, it was fun. Um, obviously, he had a lot of success last year, but uh, it's nice to go and get that win for sure. Seemed like a lot of odd bug bounces tonight. Yeah, you know what? They kind of just sling everything at the net from the corner. So I'm on my post, and they're throwing throwing pucks, you know, at our D man. I know I know Weeks uh, got one like in the chest with like I don't know maybe maybe eight minutes left around that mark in the third. So uh, when when they just throw everything at the net, that tends to happen and creates chaos. So it's obviously a bit of their game plan, but we were uh, we were solid in front of the net, so uh, we didn't really give them anything there. What's that feeling like when Pareko winds up? Yeah, he can shoot it for sure. Uh, I mean, we had Weber last game, so similar uh, similar shots from those two guys. Uh, yeah, it, I think the one, I, I maybe just lost sight of it at the last second. Um, I'm going to have to take another look at that, but uh, I mean, I, I heard it whiz by my ear, so uh, it, was a, it was a quick shot for sure. Coach has won a lot of games in this building. For him to come back and kind of get one for you guys at a big time for you. Yeah, pretty special. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, this was, uh, this was a big one for us. Great standouts from tonight, but uh, for you, the game-winning goal on those plays from Sarla, he was playing incredible tonight. Just what did you see? What did you enjoy with working with him? Uh, I, I enjoyed playing with him uh, when he got called up, too. Uh, he works extremely hard. He's strong on pucks, and um, everybody's so good now in the minors and, and here. He, everybody that comes up is hungry, and he's definitely hungry to earn some ice time, and he had a, a good plays on both our goals, and I just kind of tried to get open, and talked about it before the face-off and he made a great play uh, what we talked about so it was uh, good to see that one go in it's obviously a huge win for our team good defense from this team throughout the game but what stands out really is that pk at the end and that six on five situation just everyone really laying it out on the line blocking shots just you know how important is that as you go down the stretch yeah it's the best time of the year uh, it's obviously a 
you know, there's lots of pressure now, and um, you know you work so hard to put yourself in a position to you know get in the postseason, and, and this is the time where guys are um, giving a little extra and. Uh, Wiggs and, and, and uh, Chari and Sieves, um, all our D, uh, PK, laying their bodies in the line. It's not easy. Um, you got to have some guts to do that, and uh, they showed uh, they showed that tonight. And uh, it's a lot of fun. We just got to keep building. Um, we're, we're right there. Block out all the noise that's uh, coming from outside, and uh, just worry about our team. We're we're comfortable, and we're, we're, we believe we can get in and um, just play for each other and block out all the noise from the from everybody. Um, and just play our best, and we'll see what happens. Drew, you're going up against Bennington with the victory here tonight, a goalie battle. He's really developing into quite a great story. You know, mm -hmm. What have you guys seen from him behind you? Yeah, he's been calm. Um, we've been very comfortable. It was tough to see him get injured when he did. That was a uh, tough timing for him because we had a good thing going with him and uh, Bob. And, but um, he's uh, making a strong case, and um, you know he's, he's earning his starts. And obviously, when Bob uh, Bob goes down, we need someone to step up, and he's done that. And um, we have two very very good goalies that can help us down the stretch. And he's uh, been very very good for us the last few games. So we need him. a couple standouts from tonight's game, but one in particular, Alexi Sarla, coming in after not being in the lineup and just having an an immediate impact is that something that you had planned on or you know what, what per, you know wanted you to make that move um, well the other day in practice we almost put him in a game a couple of games ago because he practiced so well and it was a you know I don't think I've ever made uh, that kind of a change and we, we made a game time decision to stay what we originally had in mind and and then uh, you know you're in the opportunity jumping in today and made two nice plays a uh, great play on the second goal as well where he made a nice counter hit to free himself up with some time made a hard pass over there and Cono big goal for him as well um you know Dredge again was solid in net for us a lot of good things a lot of battling going on it was kind of like the puck wasn't as friendly uh, around the rink tonight there's some nights but it was a hey, you know it's a huge two points for us Dre is developing into quite a good story here for you guys stepping up without Bob just you know especially going up against Bennington tonight this was a goalie battle and he said he had a lot of fun what did you see from him uh, same thing he's very composed he's real patient in the net you know he follows the puck doesn't get uh, excited uh, you know his rebound control is in effect and he looks big and you know he, he takes care of business so you got to commend him in playing some big games for us at a big time of the year and you know he, he likes the challenge the I like uh, I like it here a lot and uh, you know I'm happy that they won a championship the building's fresh the, the town and the team is uh, you know got a lot of things going for them they're a dangerous hockey team and and uh, hey, it's uh, you know that was a huge point, two points for us in a, in a real game that uh, put us in a position. While it's one of these games you handicap and say, oh geez, it'd be nice to get something, but uh, getting it all two points was huge. A big effort tonight from the special team side, especially that PK at the end of the game. Just the desperation, the blocking, the shots. It's got to be everything that you're wanting to see, you know, at this time of the year from these guys. Back-to-back -back games here, the big, big kills at the big time of the game where they sacrificed and they uh, they did a lot of good things to prevent. Uh, their power play making some seam passes had to chew on some major shots and uh, got through it and uh, hey it's uh, you know that time in the game you get kills like that can be the difference in winning and losing and tonight a big part of it when Brett Connolly scored that goal I could hear Yandel yelling from the bench you told him you told him he was due Just, you know he, he clearly you know wants to be scoring and wants to play that role you have to be happy to see him getting on the score sheet yeah it was it was a huge goal as well uh, and, and it was a uh, Yans was yelling, Frankie, you called it Frankie. Yeah. So they were pretty excited about it. And, uh, you know, I think we had a couple guys sitting around that number there. It's always nice to get uh, that magic number and, uh, and going from there. Thanks. Thanks.